And when you look at City, Robbie, and beating uh, PSG in midweek, Pochettino coming to Manchester and then them sending them off with defeat, beating Everton 3-0 last <clears> weekend. <throat> when you watch them, they're in their groove. Does it look to you like City are peaking right now? They're absolutely in their groove and they are peaking right now the, to the best of their powers and the best of the squad that they've got right now. Go back even a little bit further, Rebecca. The Man United kind of cruising to victory in that massive game. I, I, it just, I just, the PSG game particularly this week is just like, I don't know, like they've got superstar players, PSG, yet the teamwork of, of Man City shone through for me. And it's, it's credit to the manager mm. and what he's done at this football club. I know he's been there for quite a few seasons now. I know he's spent a lot of money, but the way that they play the game and the way that they win that, that looks so effortless and the blueprint and the consistency, those three games just talked about, all different lineups. Different players, no drop-off, very consistent. And I just think sometimes we forget because it looks sometimes it looks routine winning mm. and it looks boring winning. But the way he does it in that start with the consistency takes emotion out of football. Those players are not uncertain. A team's against them. There's no point getting fired up and getting stuck into Man City because they've mm. got a plan for that. So I just think sometimes you've got to appreciate what we've got in the Premier League. We've got a special manager. Do you think sometimes Pep Guardiola is underappreciated? Well, yes, because he's had so much success. I spoke to Vincent Company a couple of years ago, and he talked about how Pep wears on you every single day in training. He's always on top of things. He's drilling the team. And we've seen that in the past from some of his teams. He ends up having to leave and go somewhere else because the time has come. But this team's reinvented itself under Pep Guardiola. You look at some of the players, he gives everybody an opportunity. These players, Jesus didn't work as a false nine. He knows he's going to go with the false nine system. Stuck him out wide. Great decision. Now he's playing particularly well, probably better than he's ever played for Manchester City. Every player gets an opportunity. So the credit goes to Pep Guardiola, but it also goes to this group of players because they've taken that message on board. And you, you now see it like, no, no, we got this. We understand the task. We go out there and we do it. And as you said, most of these games, this is the highest level competition. Mm. They're making it look like a preseason training session game. It, it seems so easy for them. Just to continue on the point about the players, I mean, I think there's one thing you say about Pep. He's got no favourites, Rebecca. Mm. I, think, I think every player in that squad, maybe you could argue Kevin De Bruyne, has been out of favour with Pep Guardiola, for mm. sure. Been out of the side and we're like, why? I wonder why John Stones isn't playing when he was so good last year or Cancelo was out of the side for a little bit. You can go through the whole team. Mm -hmm. And, and that, I think that's great in a, a dressing room's point of view. It's like, if you're playing well, he's going to play you. And if you're a little bit off... Raheem Sterling, a few others, then he's not going to play you. The squad is great, I get that, but it still keeps people on board um, and hungry to, hey, to, to he's play. He's got the best players in the world. He's literally the puppet master, just presses the buttons. Yeah. They go to, it's, it's fantastic to watch. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock, where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.